Hi, Nature Together friends. It's Sunday, so that means it's time for another story. It's Nature Together's Sunday Story Time. And like I said last week, um, I love the month of October and Halloween and pumpkins. So we're going to do another pumpkin story today. Um, before I get to the story, though, I want you to count with me. We have one, two, three, four, how many is that? Five. So I like this little rhyme. I'm sure you've heard it before and it goes like this. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, well, I don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Then whoosh went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. <laughs> I like that little rhyme. I do it every year for my students, and I'm sure you guys have heard it before, but I love it. So that brings me to our story. It's called The Biggest Pumpkin Ever by Stephen Kroll. The Biggest Pumpkin Ever. Once there were two mice who fell in love with the same pumpkin. Clayton, the house mouse, noticed it one day in the vegetable garden. It was still little and green, but Clayton thought he could make it grow really big. It might even get big enough to win a grand prize in the town pumpkin contest. Desmond, the field mouse, discovered the pumpkin the same day. He thought that if he helped it grow, it could become the biggest jack-o'-lantern in the neighborhood. That afternoon, Clayton watered the pumpkin. He also mixed up some fertilizer of manure and water. He spread the mixture around the pumpkin to make it grow larger. That very same night, Desmond went into the garden. He watered the pumpkin too. He also spread some manure mixed with water around it. The next day, Clayton watered and fertilized the pumpkin again. The next night, Desmond did the same and the pumpkin began to grow. By the end of the month, the pumpkin was so large, Clayton couldn't believe his eyes. That pumpkin was getting extra love. My goodness, said Clayton's mother, and it's not even full grown. Clayton shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. Clayton's mother whispered in his ear. If you want the pumpkin to grow bigger, faster, she said. You should use sugar water. That night, Desmond brought his brother, Morris, to see the pumpkin. Morris knew everything there was to know about growing things. That's some pumpkin, he said. Desmond shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. Morris whispered in his ear. You should try using sugar water, he said. The next day, Clayton dug a small hole beside the pumpkin vine right there. In the hole, he placed a bowl full of sugar water. He cut the vine a few inches from the pumpkin. In the cut, he put one end of a piece of candle wick. Then he put the other end in the bowl of sugar water. See? That night, on the other side of the pumpkin, Desmond did exactly the same thing. Within a week, the pumpkin was twice the size it had been. 
Within two weeks, it was absolutely enormous. Clayton was amazed. He ran down the road and peeked into his friend Jimmy's pumpkin patch. The pumpkin Jimmy was growing for the contest looked much smaller. Clayton scratched his head. I have an amazing pumpkin, he said out loud, and I think I'm going to win the contest. That night, Desmond and his brother Morris spent a long time looking at the pumpkin. How do you think it got that big? Desmond asked. Morris shrugged. A little luck? A little skill? It's going to make some jack-o'-lantern, said Desmond. It sure is, said Morris. A week later, Clayton noticed the pumpkin was bigger than the family car. During the day, everyone he knew came to admire it. And at night, all the field mice gathered around to do the same. By now, summer was almost over. In a week, the pumpkin would be full grown and start turning yellowish and then orange. A few weeks after that, it would be ripe and ready for the pumpkin contest. Clayton could hardly wait. The pumpkin was growing so fast, it would soon be larger than his house. Then he had a terrible thought. If the pumpkin was so big, how would he get it to the contest? It wouldn't fit in his red wagon. It wouldn't even fit in a truck. Clayton decided to worry about this when the time came. See how big it is? That night, the weather grew colder. Thinking there might be an early frost, Clayton rushed out to the pumpkin with his blanket. One was not enough. Soon he was rushing back and forth, carrying all the blankets from the house. As he worked, he hummed a little song. And as he hummed, he heard someone else singing. He also began to realize that someone else was covering the pumpkin with blankets. Desmond too had seen the danger of an early frost. He too had brought blankets for the pumpkin. And as he worked, he sang a little song. And as he sang, he began to realize that someone else was working and humming. They didn't know that each other was there. Clayton stopped humming. He put down his pile of blankets and peered around the corner of the pumpkin. Desmond stopped singing. He put down his blankets and peered around the corner of the pumpkin. The two of them bumped heads and fell down. You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Clayton. You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Desmond. That's why it got so big, said Clayton. That's why it got so big, said Desmond, and they burst out laughing. When everything had been exp explained, Clayton said, I know I'll win the contest if I can get the pumpkin to town. Desmond smiled. I'll help you. Just let me carve the pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween when the contest is over. It's a deal, said Clayton. A deal, said Desmond, and they shook on it. The morning of the contest was bright and sunny. Mice were bringing their pumpkins to town square by truck, car, and wagon. Some were rolling them along the ground. Suddenly, they all stopped short. Over the field came the biggest pumpkin anyone had ever seen. It was being pulled by a hundred field mice on motorcycles. Wow. When the pumpkin reached town, it was too big for any of the streets. Clayton had to explain why they couldn't bring it to the square. The mayor understood at once. He led the crowd to the giant pumpkin and pinned the first prize ribbon on its side. Then everyone danced around it. 
Who would have believed this, said Clayton as he danced. Who would have believed this, said Desmond at the same moment. When the celebration was over, the hundred field mice pulled the pumpkin back to the field. The day before Halloween, they carved it into the best jack-o'-lantern ever. And on Halloween night, its wonderful smiling face could be seen glowing for miles around. That's a really beautiful pumpkin. All right, and that's the end of our story. So what I want to do now is I've been wanting to carve pumpkins with my kiddos and we all went to a pumpkin patch um, uh, last week. We went to a pumpkin patch last week. We each picked out a pumpkin, even me. I have my own pumpkin and we're going to carve it now and show you how they end up looking. And my hope is that when you carve your pumpkins, that you'll send me a picture of your finished pumpkins. Would you do that for me? And you can send it to my email, or some of you have my phone number, you can even text it to me. Um, but my email is chris, K-R-I-S, at explorenaturetogether.com. I would love to see your pumpkins. And if you'd like, I could even share them with our friends here on Halloween, all right? So let's go do that now. Okay, I'm here with Avery, Xavier, and Graydon. And, and my little mousy. It's a little bit dark because we lit our pumpkins. So Xavier, he made the Seahawks 12 pumpkin and he added some toothpicks to his design. Avery, what did you make? I just made like a scary face and it kind of looks like a cabin to me. <laughs> it's a nice scary pumpkin. I made a cute pumpkin and Graydon, I made a cat pumpkin with the mouse on the top. <laughs> it turned out fantastic. Thanks, everyone. And, and mine has a chimney on the back. And what we want our friends to do is to carve their pumpkins and send us pictures, right? Yeah. Because we want, we want to see your, your pumpkin carvings. All right. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye.